Okay. Uh, welcome to the Amiga Retro World channel. We're going to be reviewing the World Series Cricket game for the Amiga 500. Now, as a kid, I never used to play this game. I st stuck away from it quite religiously because I thought um, cricket was boring as batshit. So um, I never um, wanted to play this kind of game. That's the crack screen there. Uh, but let's see what kind of um, pearls of joy is going to be available playing, going back for the first time, back to the future, to play World Series Cricket on the Amiga 500. So I've noticed already that this game takes a, a long time to load. Normally, as a kid, I'd probably get away from the computer screen, go get a popper. Wow. Something to drink, skull down maybe now, and uh, come back in a few minutes when this game's loaded. But because it's the future now, we could probably just skip that bit. Alright, so we got World Series Cricket. And this guy is running across all of the words and letters. This is pretty high-tech and advanced for graphics in those days. It's like the Roadrunner and the Running Man combined. So already I've got a sense that this guy is a triathlete, you know, he's running with a bat in his hand, he's got the, you know, what's that, James Bond music? Alright, so he's James Bond of cricket. Let's go streak ahead to the game. So uh, I never get a chance to think ahead. So this time, because the game is taking its time to load, I have to wonder whether I'm going to use the mouse or the joystick, or even if I could use the keyboard. So here we go. It's one of those games that requires a second disc load. And for some reason down the bottom it says UK 127. So I know the time right now is not 127. And it's not like the, the computer's connected to the internet. <laughs> it's not telling me the time. Maybe there was some cryptic, cryptic thing going on back in those days. So here we go, we got Daryl Holden bringing out the music. World Series Cricket. How many overs do I want? Oh, wow. So I can use the... Well, so I can't even use the mouse. This is very slow. Let's just say... I, I, I want to make this... I don't want to, you know, die of boredom. So <laughs> let's just say one. I was going to be ambitious and say two. Let's just, let's just see how much my brain can handle one over. So if anyone is um, aware of the late Richard Beno, uh I'm wondering whether his voice is going to feature in his game at all, or if he was even commentating back then. 
Let's uh let's go for Australia. Right, we're going to select a team to load now. That's my best Richie Beno Richie Beno voice. Wow. Select a team to load building bowling side. Alright, let's go against England. <laughs> So it seems that I'm going to bat. Oh, here we go. Oh, so this is like a real, um, you know, management game. That's my first impression is it's quite good if you want to sit and, and play a game for a while. Or you, you get to choose people. Oh, doesn't. See, in these days, when you when you go on the internet, you, you get hover over. There's no hover over here. It's, the GUI is like all over the place. Wait a minute! Let's, just, you know, let's pick anyone. Gooch. Lamb. I remember Lamb. Who's that guy? Is it? He doesn't. He's not a batter. He's a, he's a bowler. Malcolm. Um, needed batting extras. What do I do now? Bowling side. Botham. I guess he's going to bowl. Oh! Where am I? Oh, so this, oh, I'm going to bowl. So I'm getting ready. Wow, this is pretty cool. All right, so I'll go forward, go forward. Run, run, run. How do you run? No. Nope. I go forward. I don't know which way is forward, but I assume it's this way. That's running. Press the button to run. Oh! Whoa, I actually bowled something. It's not that hard. Who's batting? So I'm bowling. Go get it, bro. Yeah, that was good. That was good. All right. So it's not too bad. It's overhead view. Go this way. It should actually give an indication on the screen on the right. What's actually you know where where your shadow is. I mean, you can't see the shadow like so you don't know where the hell you are. All right, anyway. Oh, there I am. Wow. Oh, he's back backhanded it. Oh, he's got a four. Oh, he didn't get a four. He's thrown it back. Is that automatic? Wow, these guys are good throws. Wow. All right, so it says Botham. R, 2, P, 1. All right, let's do some walking this time. Is that as far as he can walk? All right, that's as far as he can go. All right, so let's start running from here. Wow, he goes too far. All right, so hey, he's got a four point. Is that four points? No, that's the boundary. Where's the boundary? That that must have been the boundary. All right, so this is actually all right. So how many overs? One over each. All right, so. We're needing zero. They've just, I think they scored four, and the other guy has scored two. Uh, I need to figure out how the spin works. Uh, that was less spin that time. That's good. Oh, oh I thought I was going to get him. <laughs> Come on, guys. Let's, let's go. Uh, lucky I don't control where he throws it. It's automatic. So that's good, it increases the playability of this game. I'm actually not into cricket, but uh, I don't mind playing this game right now. Wow. It'd be good if I could figure out the what's going on with the spin, because I'm getting hammered. Oh, and I'm always looking at the screen on the left. I should be looking at their running. Right, so, um, let's just make these quick. I pulled backwards that time, so maybe that's like top spin or something. Whoa! I got him! Alright, so I think I got him out. He's out.
So I'm quite happy with that. It's the game's loading now, so I'm probably going to get some celebratory screen. Oh, that was the over. Alright. So total eight. They got eight. So I'm going to eight runs. So I'm going to figure out how to hit the ball and how to run. I'm assuming that running is going to be automatic because if it's not automatic, then I'm going to get very tired jiggling this this joystick paddle stick, whatever it is. All right, so World Series cricket continues. Ooh, um, my batsman. So I got. Two batsmen. What's the A mean and what's the S? What's the P mean? All right, so A is seven. Oh no, P is seven. I'm just gonna pick Hick because he's got a big number. I'll pick a small one just in case. Oh, look at this guy. He's already. He's already going off. I press go. Yeah. Oh, it didn't go anywhere. But I still got one. Alright, so. Skill level's not too hard, but you just gotta time it. Get out that way. Wow, you can even go out. Wow, I hit it over my head. Someone's gonna get me. Right, let's try for four. I'm gonna knock this one out. Come on, what you got? What you got? Whoa. <laughs> it's going backwards. I think I've got three runs. Yeah, I've got three runs. Oh, this is, I feel quite proud of myself right now. Oh, is it gonna be over and out? Oh, it's coming back. Oh, I've actually got something there. One more, one more. Oh, he's oh, like, come back. So that's four. They got eight. I think they got eight. So I'm chasing. I need four more. Can I do it? Yes, I can. Watch this. Oh, ah! oh didn't, didn't go anywhere though. I gotta figure out the force. What is the button and the skill required to hit the ball very far? So I'm just it's just trial and error right now. I know I, I can go this way and that way. Hit the ball. Oh no! Well, I guess I have to show that for the game. So I'm not too overly devastated about that. Is that game over? Oh no, I can pick another one. Alright, so let's pick another. Who got out? It's the guy with a three point. So let's pick a seven point guy. Uh, Hick. I was going to pick Hick. No, I can't. Atherton. Okay. Let's go. Affa. Wait, is that it? Alright, so that was the game. Uh, I, yeah, I guess you can sit down if you like cricket and play the game over, uh, you know, before the cricket starts back in the 1990s. Um, I probably wouldn't be able to still get into it. Maybe I'd play it, you know, for something to do. Um, I can't rate it badly though, or, you know, for an Amiga 500 game back in the day, overhead view give it about a 3.75 out of 5 stars anyway that's me for Amiga Retro World giving you an audio video YouTube Amiga 500 podcast review see you next time